get it right. Today, the boys are traveling 200 miles southeast to the Cotswolds to a veteran dealer they first met in 2017 when he sold Drew an extraordinary find. That's of interest. Is that for, is that real paint on that one? Yes, all original. I just this all, is original. Yes, it's been polished. That's it. It's not missing a single compartment, drawer, lock, hook. Staggering. So today, T, we are going back to see a guy called Giovanni. Yeah. Uh, do you remember Burford Antiques? He was I next do. to the road. Yes. And. We didn't get anything from the shop. Then we went to his storage facility. Yeah. We bought an incredibly rare aesthetic movement wardrobe off him. Incredible thing. Turned out to be even rarer than I thought. Wow. Well, do you remember he said, oh, I've got loads of stuff in storage? All this stuff he was getting from house clearances in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s in London, he didn't even look at it. He just put it all straight into storage. He's finally moved all of it now. So we are off there to see that. Oh, excellent. I've been in the trade for 42 years in London, and then we moved up here. There are two units. I think there are 7,000 square feet altogether. If we start moving the stuff from London, think it's enough, and then it wasn't enough. So we had to get these 12 containers outside to put all the stuff in. Now it's all in. I'm sure Drew will find something, hopefully, hopefully. We we'll keep fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> Giovanni, hi, how you doing? Hello, nice, nice to, see to see you. you again. Hello. Hello. I see you've got a little bit more for us to look at. A little bit. A, mate, a little bit. seriously. <laughs> Can we have a look inside? Yes. You've been busy, very busy. <laughs> busy. Last time we were here, you bought... <laughs> it, it was half empty. It was half empty. It was half empty. It's not oh, now. Yes, yeah. yeah. You've filled it a bit since then. Today I am with Giovanni again, and he's been busy. You can't move, literally. It's just completely rammed. I've got to say, though, you are now literally my spirit animal. <laughs> this, is, this is what I'm aiming at. It's so good. It's so cool. It's so cool. I love it. Right, let's go. Let's go. How do you go about going around a warehouse that's this full of stuff? Well, you just start. He's going to find something right down the back now. It's going down to take back, us yeah. all day to get out. Yeah. You're a good climber. Some furniture's better for climbing on than other bits. Like a gazelle. Look at that, eh? There's no really easy way of doing this. You've got to do the antique furniture assault course. Whoa! You're right. Yeah. And you start clambering over things and looking for telltale things, a nice bit of carving here, a good caster, a good leg. Also, you're just looking. And that's all it is. All I've done my whole life is just look at things. <laughs> T. Yeah. If I do find something in here. Yeah. You're not allowed to buy it. I've just thought, yeah. Can't really get it out. How much stuff are you buying a day? None. Uh, I what, what the? <laughs> I, I, I haven't bought anything for two weeks now. Really? Yes. Do you want him to do a stock take while he's in there so you can remember what's <laughs> yeah, in the back? Yes, yes, yes. You write down what's yeah. in there, please, Drew. I do like coming here. Your eye is attuned to what I know I want, and um, that's it, really. That's all it is. It's just wandering around looking at things, and when I see something I like, then we start to really investigate it. OK. Um, where to next? Through that one? Yeah, yeah. Mate, you've got some stock, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> you just keep buying. Well, you, you can't stop, really. No. You can't stop. I never stopped buying. I went to bed last night, I was so tired, and I was falling asleep, and I'm typing out an email <laughs> about asking for details for something that's in auction the day after tomorrow, asking for a re condition report. I'm like, just go to sleep. I know, I know. <laughs> just but you go can't, to sleep. You can't. You, you can't. can't? Yeah. Do you think it keeps you young or wears, or wears you out? Uh, well, it keeps your brain going, I yeah. think, yes. He's 80 years old and he's fit as a flea, he's up and down these ladders, he's moving furniture around, he is sharp as a tack. And um, I really like him. So, last time we spoke, Giovanni, you had stuff in storage in London. Yes. Is everything gone now? Oh, all here. Everything's here? Yeah. Okay. yeah. It looks like everything's here. No. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. This is an um, original Regency painted bookcase. Chiffonier. 
chiffonier. Always good. And these came Scottish from the same house yours. somewhere. It's got a little bit of superstructure here. Original paint again. This? Yeah. Where's the bottom from it? No, this is the bottom. It's got right. a bit of a, a top here right. with a shim. Where's the top? Somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> somewhere here. Why don't you leave the top with the bottom? That's a good question because, yeah. I mean... Just say. The, the boys are moving it and then it gets... Because that's here. original paint. Original paint, yeah. I just gave it a bit of polish. Giovanni actually points out, he says, well, what about this? And I'd walk past it and it's an open bookcase. This is English, painted pine, decorated to look a lot more expensive than it really is. OK, so that's the top. It's very, it's very country, very basic, very just simple. It's it apparently cheap. Ca yeah. came from the same thing. It's not cheap, cheap. It's... No, 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 the cheap, it's like a yes. cheaply made. Yes. It's very cheaply made, yes. is what I'm saying. Yes. And they've cut the top off. They've sawn it off, look. Yes. Or snapped it off. Oh, no, yeah. This was one piece and somebody's locked the top off. But anything from this period that is English, I have an interest in because it's just the best period of architectural interiors in my mind. And, and it's charming. Dating to around 1810, this pine open bookcase is unusual because it still retains its original paint, rare in such a simply made piece of furniture. With the top section sympathetically reattached, it could be worth up to £900. I don't know. How much is it? A50. No. <laughs> Very little I can do on this because, I mean, you know, I have the polish. I can do 750 It really <laughs> make it We're very... We're going in the right direction. That's it. You go, you go the stretch. I haven't even asked for a reduction yet. Yeah. You've just... <laughs> I haven't even asked yet. Well... <laughs> It's really, it's an interesting thing. I like this sort of common vernacular stuff. Really yeah. simplistic stuff. I really like it. I really like it. 6.50? No, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. Drew's expert eye and climbing skills are being challenged in the Cotswolds by a vast stockpile of antique furniture. How much stuff do you buy in a day? None. Uh, I... What, what the... <laughs> I, I, I haven't bought anything for two weeks now. Really? Yeah. He's found a charming 200-year-old pine bookcase with original paint. I can do 750. 650? No, no, I can't. I can't. Really? Yes. Yeah. Well, 740, the Irish No, for, I'm not going to argue with for a luck. 10... No, for luck. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not going to argue over £10. OK, 750. 750. Deal. Thank you very Let's much. Let's have it. If this piece of furniture was made today, you wouldn't give it house room because it made out the cheapest materials, super thin, very, very basic. But now, 200 years later, it's charming, you know, and it's very authentic. OK, can we have a look outside in the containers? Yes, yeah? let's go and look outside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this looks interesting. So I'm going through all the containers and then we open one up and there's two things in there that I like. Both of them are bookcases with storage below. OK. I like this. Very good. You've got all the slides underneath. It's been somebody... Yes. ..has sanded it. Really? Yeah, look, the grain's opened up, look. But I like it. I'm just a sucker for anything that has wirework doors. I love it. I don't these know why. Are, these are unusual. Yeah, they're nice. They're, they're, they're slightly better than the norm, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. unusual shape. It's unusual to have a bookcase with press. Yes. That's I was thinking really, that, yeah. Isn't it so, odd? Your books and your pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your books and your pants. <laughs> yes. Or your books and your bed sheets. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's sort yes. of... Yes. It's a very unusual combo. There's one particularly good mahogany one there with a lovely brass wire meshed grills to the doors. Really nice one. And I'm a sucker for these. I just think they look wonderful, and I really like them. And I might be wrong, but for me, I think they just shout of real quality and style, and I love them. This is covered in minor problems, but underneath it is a very good thing. Dating to around 1830, the glazed mahogany doors to the bookcase above is furnished with intricate gilt brass wirework decoration. Unusually, there is a cupboard below with five sliding trays to store linens, known as a press. When fully restored, this bookcase on press could be worth around £1,800. We need to have a, a talk about price. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, well, you can see. Yes, there's yes. An there's an well, issue. I know. 
it's all wrong. Yeah. It's right from my side, wrong from your side. Um, uh, well, it's 1250. It's 800. We can do 1150. No. There's faults all over it. I, I can't do it, Andrew. I can't do it. I, I can do a thousand. That's it, I'm afraid. Do you want this one or not? Well, that one's interesting. Same, it's a little bit earlier. Yeah. So far, Giovanni's not been shifting on his prices. I need him to shift on this. He started at 12.50, I'm not paying that. But across from it is another earlier bookcase, right? That's had a bit of a hard life, but it's very honest. It's a pretty little thing. Worth about 1,400 pounds, 1,500 pounds done. So I thought, well, I'll try and knock him down on this one and I'll hook that one in at the end and just see if I can do a deal. If I gave you a thousand for that, can that be like practically free? Uh, I pretend I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> not... if, this, if I give you a thousand for that, can I have that for 200? 350. Oh, 300. 1300, the pair? Yeah. Sold. The two. Sold. Yeah. Deal. Yeah. Okay. Happy days. Happy days, yes. Boom. I'm winning that one. That's a, that's a win. So I've just done, you know, really, really well out of that one. I'm very happy. Giovanni's still making money. He ain't, he ain't daft. I'll tell you that for nothing. But that was just a good deal, a very good deal for me. Shall we um, yeah, Load up. get loaded up? Yes. Giovanni, thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed it. Pleasure, yes. Likewise. Let's get loaded. Today's been great fun. I really like Giovanni. He's still doing it. He's still sharp, you know, he's still buying and selling and it's an inspiration to be to be around him. Overall, I've done really well. I've got really fresh things to the market. They've all got that thing I'm always looking for. Potential and potential profit. Uh, Giovanni, thank you so much. Thank much you. Appreciate it. And um, hopefully we'll see you again. Yes. Thank right. you very it's much. It's been a pleasure. All right, take care. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye. It's been wonderful, fun, as usual, with Drew. I can see he's looking at all Regency stuff now. Years ago, he was looking at a bit of everything. Today, it was just real antique, 1820, 1830. Yeah, well, the best pieces here, really. <laughs> he picked, but yeah. So there you go. I don't think we turned up the absolute gem that we did last time, but we still did well. I didn't enjoy clambering over all the furniture, but a lot of me did as well. You did 20 years ago. I like the idea of it yeah. without actually doing it. I think that's probably where I'm at now. It sounds like a good idea, and then I've done it, and then I've realised that now I'm a bit broken and my back's ruined. You just described yourself like one of the pieces of furniture. What's that, then? The bit broken and the back's not right. <laughs> Maybe you should get a restorer. <laughs> I could do with a restorer, to be perfectly honest with you.